we're eating good today, guys. Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 and a new FNAF game trailer just released. So let's go ahead and react to both of them, guys. And don't forget to comment and like if you guys are excited for this, because I know I am. <laughs> okay, so starting out with Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, official game trailer number two. Let's go ahead, get into this. I feel like I'm more excited for the Poppy Playtime. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Already kind of starting out with like the quarantine back rooms type suits on. The kids' face are scribbled out. Who just plopped this down? You know what? Let's not even just sit here and over and like, we'll do that at the end. Let's just watch this all the way through. Sorry, guys. Okay, so it looks like we got some kids. One of them got huggy, luggy on them. Um, we got another child. Probably some lore in those documents, right, guys? Let's go. Play Ooh. care. Play Our care. On-site orphanage. Every time I hear it, it just sounds but like. It's not only that. It sounds like like it's Walt Disney. A playhouse. I like this voice. A place. I like this place. Well, if it's not so dirty and messed up and ruined, it actually looks really cool. Oh, oh my gosh! Why did that actually freak me out? The kids used to live here. Ah, this one of the freaking critters. Oh, we got a gun. We got a pew pew. <laughs> Ooh, who's speaking right now, guys? When you're most vulnerable? When you're most vulnerable? Oh! I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that we got a pew pew! Oh, playtime. This okay. is your answer. The hour of joy. Oh! Freaking catnap! Oh! I love it. Ooh. Critter is actually coming after you. Oh, Missy. And then Huggy Wuggy's back. Is he actually back or is that oh, like something controlling the puppet? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is this actually so scary? Ugh. Catnap. Oh my gosh. Welcome home. <laughs> Guys, you gotta admit, the hype is real. The hype is there. Oh my gosh. Coming out? The end of this month? In like six days? Oh my gosh. I am freaking hyped for this. Let me know if I'm being overhyped, but like, I feel like this is by far the probably going to be the best Poppy Playtime chapter. And the scariest Poppy Playtime chapter. Let's just go back real quick and look through some of these stuff. I mean, obviously, it's going to be about the kids, the lore. We're going to learn about, you know, Experiment 1188, which I'm guessing is going to be a catnap. But yeah, that's what this document's about. Going forward, you see Play Care. You see the smiling critters in the middle. Oh my gosh, not gonna lie. I feel like this is like the main hub and you'll be going in different directions. Kind of like we did for um, chapter two. Each one of these are like different like locations that we have to go to like different trials kind of to unlock one area. I feel like that might be what this area is all about. And I'm guessing this is the orphanage we're gonna have to go into. I feel like they did such a good job with like um, basically capitalizing a place that potentially was fun and playful but now is ruined because not gonna lie i can kind of envision this place being a place that kids would stay but then everything went wrong fire destruction something's moving in the background is that the train that's not the, is that the train did the train crash my god oh my gosh we already see one of the smiling critters the bear i forgot your name because i only like dog day Oh my gosh. And then this is where we get the new weapon. We go pew pew. Oh my gosh. That is actually chilling right there. Like you just see his face. Oh, don't tell me. They're going to have catnap here and there everywhere. Just poking his little head out. Oh my gosh. Kind of like huggy wuggy. See, here's the map I was telling you about. It feels like this is going to be the central hub. And they're going to be like making you have different trials. Like in chapter two. We got the school, the playhouse. Um... The toy store and something over here, like the carousel. Interesting. There's so much details in all of this. And I wonder who is that voice talking to us as well? 
because they seem like they're kind of on our side. I don't think it's Poppy. It sounds a different from Poppy's voice. But we already see we have new mechanics. Lake yeah. So I wonder if we're gonna have. Yeah, that's Poppy's voice. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's two different voices. So who's gonna help us out? I don't think that's Kissy Missy's voice. It doesn't sound like. I feel like Kissy Missy's kind of like a silent one. Just like Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy did not talk to us like Mommy did. And will Catnap talk to us? You think Catnap would talk to us, or you think Catnap is gonna be like same as Huggy Wuggy, just making noises here and there? Interesting. Maybe that's one of the critters helping us. Dog Day? No, I don't think Dog Day. Dog Day was tied up and wow. such. This is your answer. Ugh. Man, so freaking intense. Who's that at the end of that is not that is not catnap at the end of the hallway. Is that the Dog Day like uh heretic thing that they had up? Cause it looks a little smaller. Oh. Man, this is just making me super excited, guys. See, and there's like a little dog day little critter. Oh man, I'm too obsessed with dog day, guys. And then this thing. Then we come to this thing. What is that? That is not Huggy Wuggy. That is not our Huggy Wuggy that we came to love. That is some monstrosity. So I feel like, or that's Huggy Wuggy's body and something else is in it. That's so horrific. Okay, I'm just gonna hope that that is just a bodysuit because that sounds way too horrific that after Huggy Wuggy fell down, something took it. Like, I mean, people did say that there was like uh, markings of Huggy Wuggy being dragged against the wall, but that's too brutal. They wouldn't do that, right? They, they wouldn't like drag Huggy Wuggy's dead body and take out his insides and use it as their puppet, right? They want to do that? That's too dark, right? Maybe I'm thinking too much. Oh my gosh, but like, what the freak is that? Oh man. But this, this is super All exciting. You are incomprehensible horrors. <laughs> That's gonna be me, guys. That's gonna be me. All that wakes you is horrors. Wah! Just crying in the corner. That's literally me, the, just a person that just cries in the corner about this whole thing. And then we go to this. We go to this. Oh! Imagine that running at you. Oh my gosh, they did so good with the designs, guys. I feel like they're really good at making designs that are like scary, but you can still want to be friends with them, if that makes sense. Like, Huggy Wuggy was creepy, but I still wanted to be friends with him. Mommy, creepy, but I still want to be friends. But like, even Catnap, I would love to turn this around and become friends with you. But you still look menacing and creepy, and I cannot, oh, I can just only imagine the chase scene. Ah, six more days, guys, are you excited? I know I am. I'm super duper excited, guys. Now let's go ahead and check out the new FNAF game, Into the Pit trailer. Okay, so starting off, we're at Jeff's Pizza. Interesting. Oh, hi, Springtrap, what are you doing at Jeff's Pizza? Oh. This doesn't look menacing at all, guys. Let's go ahead and trust the buddy. Uh, okay, let's follow him into the back. It's interesting, it's a whole different art style than what we're used to. Oh, that's literally the game's art style. It's kind of like 8-bit-ish. Interesting, and we're playing as a child. Dad says, what were you thinking hiding in that nasty old thing? Didn't you hear me calling you? Man, Dad, you already seem like a butt nugget. Do not use, we're in an abandoned pizzeria I mean, I guess it makes sense for dad to be angry at us, you know? Oh my god, what the heck? Oh my gosh, hide? That's terrifying. That's actually terrifying. Oh my gosh, that's actually so terrifying! Five Nights at Freddy's into the pit. Oh my gosh, guys. Off the bat, it's very interesting that it's a, in a totally different like design than we're used to for like the FNAF games. I know that they've been doing more 3D, free roaming stuff like Security Breach, but like it's interesting that we're going to this type of style. 
and it's about spring is this canon let me know is this actually canon to the fnaf series right now is that spring trap did he hang out at jeff's pizza when it's when stuff hit the fan over at freddy fazbear honestly i'm super duper out of the loop loop when it comes to this game i'm really into the loop when it comes to the lore of fnaf but um i actually this is my first time hearing about this like game and everything so this is very interesting that we already see spring trap we see a little boy crawling about he's in five nights of or he's in freddy's pizzeria you can see the background with like the plates and like bonnie he's 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 going around but like why did it start out at jeff's pizza father is angry with us but that doesn't last too long because here comes spring trap dang i think this is the first time i've seen spring trap attack a adult <laughs> like what he didn't go straight for the child there's freddy yeah so now we're in freddy's pizzeria so why does it say jeff okay and after completely going to that trailer blind it seems like that game is going to be made after the book five nights of freddy's for Fazbear Frights Into the Pit, which I guess makes sense because Into the Pit's the game's name as well. Into the Pit, the book. Um, let me know if I should be reading this. I don't know if it's gonna be following the book word for word, but it seems like the book is about this kid named Oswald. It seems like they were able to time warp to the Freddy Fazbear's pizza after going to Jeff's Pizza's restaurant's ball pit. That's an interesting premise right there. And it's not Spring Trap, it's just Spring Bonnie. So there's no William Afton in there, or is there? <laughs> I don't know, actually. He's a demonic entity created by Eleanor. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if William is even involved in this, honestly. That's a surprise. Yeah, this is definitely probably going after. Yeah, this is definitely going off, re probably referencing the book because... Okay, guys, so let me know if you guys will be interested in me playing this game when it comes out. Will you, will you watch me play it? Let me know in the comments down below, as well as if I should read the book so that I can be, be better knowledge going into the game. Or you think it's better to go in blind because it seems like maybe the book might um, spoil some stuff. If they go completely by the book, then I'm gonna know how it ends. So maybe I shouldn't read it. I don't know. But yeah, guys, definitely let me know if you guys would like me to play this game. Definitely let me know if I should read the book before playing this game. And are you excited about it? Let me know in the comments down below. But as for now, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.